Hello and welcome. We're coming to you live from Singapore, a digital media zone at Innovate for Climate. This week, global leaders from finance, carbon markets, and technology sectors are meeting to discuss the future of climate finance and share solutions for climate change. Please follow the conversation using the hashtag Innovate for Climate. And I am Isabel Saldarriaga. I'm communications officer for the World Bank. And today I'm here with Nadia Hatagalang, an environment, UN Environment Goodwill Ambassador, champion for sustainable fashion, and we're just so pleased to have you here with us. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Um, so like I said, yes, you're a UN Environment Goodwill Ambassador, and I saw some of your clips um, on my nature and a lot of great stuff. So why are you so passionate about this issue and what sparked that interest? Well, to be honest, I think, you know, I have been speaking about environmental issues and uh, conservation and species protection since the mid-90s. Um, and that, that's, that's kind of the heart of, of what I've been doing for so long. Uh, of course, and what people see is the work that I do in front of the camera. Uh, of course, now they see a little bit more of what I do off camera and the passion that I have about uh, the environment because it's becoming more and more of a hot topic, even though it was a very lonely space when I first started talking about these things, it is now a little bit noisier. Um, but because of what I've done for work, uh, and that being in the media industry, in the fashion industry, um, it, it, is, it, it is an easy sort of transition for people to say, okay, Nadia's a good person to speak about sustainable fashion. So that's kind of how I ended up uh, doing this. And <clears throat> yes, it is something that I do care about. Uh, in fact, when I was, uh, Maybe 15 years ago, I was looking at my girlfriends who all had beautiful jewelry, and I was thinking, you know, I wouldn't mind getting a piece of jewelry like that, or maybe that would be really beautiful. And then I started to research into um, what makes jewelry, what makes gold, how you get gold, and that gold actually creates 30 tons of mine waste just for a single gold wedding band. So, and that's toxic mine waste, right? So I was like, you know what, how can I justify wearing something that looks so beautiful, but is so bad for the environment? It's just incredibly toxic, so there's nothing good about it. So then I thought, okay, you know, selfishly, I'll just design jewelry for myself. You know, I'll design jewelry using recycled gold, pre-loved diamonds, and so I set about doing that. And then I started to sell for friends, and it became a little bit of a, a, a hobby. Uh, and so, it, and then again, when I built my own home, I built a home, one of Singapore's first sustainable homes as well. So the same goes for fashion. I guess if it's something that you're passionate about, of your impact on, on the planet, it, at every step, at every juncture, whether it's business or whether it's other decisions that you need to make in your life, in personal life, you will try to make those decisions as best as you can. Now, living in Asia, we haven't... Um, it's, it's only in the, the last couple of years that we've really caught on and there have been more options available to the consumers. Uh, in the past, we really didn't have that many options. Um, now we do, and uh, I'm, I'm a big fan of supporting local designers who are uh, reviving a dying craft or helping to support local communities. Um, and previously, what I would do was just say, stay classic, stay super classic and timeless so that you buy good quality pieces that last a long time. And I have shoes that I've been wearing for 10 years, you know, and in, in the fashion industry, it's kind of like, you know, you have to be seasonal or whatever. Yeah. But I, I think if you just stay uh, uh, timeless is, is one of the, the great options. If you don't have access to uh, sustainable fashion uh, readily available to you, and it's not affordable to you yet. Yeah. Yeah. Very inspiring how you brought sustainability to so many different aspects of your life, and you picked up one interest and figure out how can I make that thing that I'm interested about um, in a sustainable way. Yes. Um, so thank you for, for sharing that with us. Yes. Um, so we have a, a young audience who's very engaged, who's very interested in sustainable issues in climate change. Um, can you share a message for them? In, in one sentence, uh, what do you think they should care about climate change? In one sentence. Or really quickly. <laughs> <laughs> um, why should the young people care about climate change? Because it is your world. It's, mm -hmm. it's very simple. This is your world, and that's why you need to care. Well, thank you so much. Very yes. inspiring. Thank you also.
Um, thank you all for tuning to our live series. Remember to follow the hashtag InnovateForClimate and stay tuned. We have much more coming up. Thank you.